Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Tonight we're on a hilarious and very raucous red carpet for the 17th annual Del Close Marathon. We'll be bringing interviews with some of comedy's biggest stars, including Amy Poehler, Matt Walsh, Bobby Moynihan, Zach Woods, and many more. So get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Kane, Amy Poehler. I was just complimenting you, Matt Walsh. I mean, the work you guys are doing with UCB, 17 years of this Del Close Marathon, how surreal is it to see what's happened? It's awesome. I mean, the, the Del Close Marathon is uh, a uh, time to celebrate Del Close, who we all studied with in Chicago, but really it's turned into an, a, an excuse for all of us to come and perform together and see old friends, so it's great to see everybody. I'm, this room is filled with a lot of people that I haven't seen for a while, so it's really nice. One of the things I love is you guys were telling stories about the humble beginnings, and now you have a center in LA. Obviously, we were just at the New York Theater. When you see this journey and what's happened with it, crazy, right? Yeah, it is. It's been a really long journey we've been on together, and every step of the way has been really exciting, and I think we just tried to stay in the present moment and just enjoy what we had, and things very slowly grow. 17 years they've been doing this. How crazy. That's fantastic. I'm so happy. I just was talking with people on the elevator. It seems to get bigger every year, which is just awesome. Because when we were saying, I bet one day we will celebrate the 100th year of the theater, which I can't see anything getting in the way of that. It's fantastic. I'm so lucky to be a part. <laughs> Speaking of being a part of something fantastic, Kimmy Schmidt. Oh. I was telling you, I was talking to Titus Burgess. I hope you guys all get Emmy nominations. Talk to me about this wonderful show you guys have put together. Thank you so much. Well, I, I, I wish I could be credited with putting it together, but Tina Fey and Robert Carlock created the show, and uh, I think people have responded to it for the most part pretty well, which is great. Um, it's a very upbeat show. I think it's a show full of hope, and it tackles a really difficult subject, which is uh, getting through something in the face of adversity and coming out on top. And um, and that's what I think Kimmy is sort of uh, embodies the spirit of resilience and tenacity and. Uh, they also managed to make the show very funny. So it's a wonderful thing to be a part of. When you look at people like Amy and obviously Matt and the influence they've had, talk to me as comics, what they've brought to the game in terms of nurturing talent. So much. I mean, if you look at comedy, television, and film right now, so many people uh, have either come through, you know, uh, Second City in Chicago or, or UCB in New York or LA. It's unbelievable. What has someone like Amy meant to a career like yours? Because I was talking to her, I feel like we're seeing the golden age of female comics right now, but it's because of people like Amy and Tina. Yes, totally. I mean, I think Amy is such a great example because she's someone who is an improviser first, and she keeps improvising even though she's in the biggest movies ever and does things like this. It's super cool. The last time I saw this funny guy, Matt Walsh, we were talking about Veep, and now yeah. Del Close, 17 years. Incredible, right? Uh, pretty crazy fun so far. 17 years of uh, kids from all over the world coming to do improv. It's pretty, pretty uh, fantastic. This is 17, right? Yeah. The 17th I one. Think so. How many is this for you, personally? Do you know? I don't know. The first one was when I, 2001. I was 16 years old. Yeah, yeah. I think we're we're in it to win it. We've been here the whole time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Old dogs, old salt. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I met you when you were 15 years old here. Do you remember I, the first marathon show I ever saw? I ran down to the theater because I was so excited. I had that like Christmas Eve feeling, and there was someone on stage vomiting from the stage into a trash can because they had so much to drink. Amazing. That's the that's the marathon to me. That's it. I don't want to say his name, but a friend of ours, which I'll tell you later. Uh, I know the marathon, like I always go like the marathon has begun when I see him passed out backstage. Oh, that's funny. That's how I know the marathon has started. Well, I heard you talking at the press conference about how surreal it is to see what you guys have built with UCB. Talk to me about 17 years later, the legacy that you're creating. Yeah, it's hard to wrap your head around it because it's nothing we ever planned. You know, it was all little steps. We just grew because there was a demand and then a lot of times it feels like it happened to somebody else. You look at it and say, how did this happen? Because you would think you had to plan something like that, yet we didn't. 
I just saw Amy, the up the UCB troop perform. How crazy is it? 17 years. Uh, it's amazing. It's, it's very crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I feel like, are they cool with you, like, reminding everybody how old they are? <laughs> they were talking about it the like, whole time. <laughs> really hitting that 17. 17 years. I feel like they're all very young at heart. I feel yeah. like that's the way you should they start. You know what I mean? They I'm going to say young. no. I think they're, everyone's getting really old. <laughs> I'm looking around. Everyone looks awful. Like they're keepers. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everyone looks like they're going to drop dead at any second. That I makes don't sense. Know. Yeah. yeah, there will be a big death soon. I mean, we there's a big pool we have about which one of our peers will die first. <laughs> who's number? Who's on top? You're number one. So yeah. A lot of people have me, yeah. which is unsurprising. <laughs> We have a ton of money on that. We have a ton of money on you dying First. this, this, this marathon. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're in the golden age of comedy right now, both on the female and male side. When you look around at the comedy, the, the spectrum right now, what are your thoughts? I think there's so much of it that, uh, you know, it's impossible not to find something for every taste. You know, really, as I was thinking, like, it's almost dizzying to think about all the possibilities now what with cable and streaming. Um, and I think, you know, what Andy Warhol said about 15 minutes, I think it's coming true. You know, everyone can be famous. Uh, there's a possibility now, like, because of video and, and YouTube and stuff. It's crazy to see what they've accomplished, right? Yeah, they've done unbelievable stuff here. Uh, one of my first trips to New York was here about 12 years ago to come to a DCM and perform. Uh, it's fantastic. It's bigger and bigger every year. I love it. When you see the influence they've had in terms of nurturing young comics, talk to me about that. Uh, it's, it's always great to have a home. And the Upright Citizen Brigade is a home for so many talented people. Uh, lets you be a little deranged uh, and fanatical and crazy. And then if it works out great, you get a job. Or at least you get some really great friends out of it. You see the legacy of what they're creating, the, the, the talent that's been nurtured. Talk to me about it. Oh, it's just, it's kind of mind-blowing, you know, to have been, to watch what they've created kind of take over in such a substantial way. You know, everybody... Everybody that's working right now, a lot of people, if you turn on TV or go to the movies, you're watching people that came out of this program, this theater or its sister theater in L.A., and that's exciting.